Welcome back everybody, I'm the Smippy D and today we're back with another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So today we're going to discuss how to phase free. So first off we're going to discuss the effectiveness of the Jawas in phase free. I would only recommend two Jawas for phase free and I will give my reasons why and I'll give the reasons of who you should be partnering them with. You're not at a loss though if you have farmed all five Jawas, the reason being behind that is you need them pretty much to get these critical damage mods. So if you haven't got five at five stars, then you're going to need to farm them anyway to open that up so you can get those better mod sets. So Jawa is one of my must haves here. This character is not only going to do an AOE stun, he's also going to do a lot of damage on anybody that's got any debuffs on them. And he's also going to hit speed down. If you wasn't already aware, when Jawas do an attack, they receive an assist from an ally. Dancha is equally important to Jawa, the reason behind that is he does an AoE stun and he also ability blocks from his AoE. So you want to fill both these characters up with quite a lot of potency, but make sure you're not neglecting any critical chance or critical damage because you are still wanting to get some damage of somewhat in your squad. I also want to bring to your attention as well that Barrage, this is one of the actual moves that the B2 Rocket Trooper has. It deals unmitigable damage to all enemies and inflict healing immunity for two turns. Then this ability cooldown is reduced by one for each defeated ally. This ability starts on cooldown. So don't kill his friends, folks. Leave his droids alone as much as possible if you can stun them, ability block them. That is the way forward. I wouldn't advise killing them unless you have to. So no AoE squads here they probably will not work. Watch out for the tank rebuilding at the back. Once that turn meter does fill up, he does hit you with a very big attack. So heavy shot, it deals unmitigable damage to the target enemy and a secondary physical damage to all other enemies. This attack can't be evaded if the primary target doesn't have a positive status effect. This attack deals massive damage to them instead. So what that means is the primary target that the tank chooses to shoot is going to need to have a positive effect above their head. If they do not, then you're most likely going to have your squad KO'd. The battle droid with a positive effect above their head, once they do hit you with their move, they are going to pretty much kill your squad or kill the character that they are actually targeting. There are three ways to prevent this. The first one being that you can kill the droid, which you don't really want to do. You can stun the droid or you can go for a good old ability block. The ability block is going to stop the droid from doing their move and that is guaranteed. They will shoot with a basic and not a special. So one of the favorites here is definitely gonna be Eve Coffee specializes in droids and he also ability blocks and stuns. Following Eve Koff, I would suggest Luminara. She has some great healing abilities. She's also a Jedi like Eve Koff and she ability blocks with a two cooldown once you Omega it. Poggle is fantastic. His basic ability blocks and he also can give a fence up, which is in turn a great buff for the squad. Ugnaught is definitely ideal for this phase. He gains so much evasion for the amount of droids that are alive. And if you keep them droids alive, Ugnaught's going to get a lot of turn meter and evasion from them. And he also has a stun AoE and he deals a lot of damage off his basic two droids. Also, I'd like to suggest using Luminara or Old Ben also as viable leaders. So if you do not currently have Dancha, then you can try and using them and go for a little bit of RNG and a little bit of dodge. So as long as you're using an AoE stun like Dancha or Jawa, this leaves room to have an ability blocker in your squad. Just in case you do need to ability block, I'd advise possibly running two because it does normally happen when you do enter the battle that you're going to need to ability block or stun two characters or they're going to kill your squad immediately. So this is something that you need to do or you will die. 
cannon is always going to affect you so it is always going to kill at least one character but you can save the others from dying this leaves room for you to attack the middle droid and get that all important score if you haven't already then please go and check out my how to phase four so that's a great video on how to get past phase four heroic Make sure you're looking out for phase one and phase two coming soon. And also as well, I will be doing a very special video where I'll be helping you organize as a guild how to do this and what to prepare for and how, what and tactics to use when raiding a tier seven. I hope watching this video has really helped you understand what you'd need to do in this phase and where to build a squad or what squad to use. There is a lot of flexible ways you can use this squad, but the most important part is, as what's been said before, is the ability block and the stun, and you do need to do this. There is no compromise in this, and you do not want to be killing the droids because you'll be in a lot of trouble. If you've liked this video, then please smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, then please definitely do. I'm the Smithy D. May the force be with you, always. Mm -hmm.